Right now, homelessness on the rise in Wisconsin. We talked to a local advocate about what they're seeing here and the root causes. Also, what we know about a homicide investigation underway in Beloit after a fatal overnight shooting. And our exclusive sit-down interview with Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson about the president's trips here this year and the Republican National Convention and the impact it'll have on his city this summer. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. And first tonight, the number of Wisconsinites without a permanent roof over their heads. It's on the rise since the pandemic, and that's according to a new report from the Wisconsin Policy Forum. But how is this rise in homelessness impacting our community? Braden Ross talked to one local organization to find out. We're never going to not need shelter. Things happen. People lose jobs. They have medical crises. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of Wisconsinites who needed that shelter was steadily falling. But for the last two years, homelessness has been on the rise. And Porchlight Executive Director Carla Tennis has seen it firsthand. We're currently on Zaire Road. Um, you know, serving twice as many people as we as we ever did. Porchlight runs Madison's emergency men's shelter on the east side. We are currently averaging 300 guests a night. We have cots for 250, and so when we get above 250, which I can tell you the last time we were at 250, um, we just put mats, uh, mattresses on the floor. But why the increase? Well, for one, the end of pandemic era assistance has hit both people at risk of homelessness and those who serve them hard. All of those funds to run the shelter have been these ARPA funds, have been these federal dollars coming in which are drying up. Tennis says the lack of affordable housing in the area also continues to be a problem. When you read in the paper that affordable housing is being built, that's not for the people that I serve, right, who are at 30% of, of CMI. Um, I like to say that that's for my staff but certainly not for our clients. That Wisconsin Policy Forum report also cites a shift to a housing first approach to ending homelessness over the last decade, something Tennis says Porchlight has been a part of. Basically get folks out of their homeless situation into permanent housing, not all of these layers, right? But two of Madison's first attempts at the model didn't end the way they planned. Here at the Trillian Apartments, a complex designed to house people at risk of homelessness, many residents are facing possibly ending up back where they started as the complex prepares to be sold. The reason programs fail that call themselves housing first is we don't have the dollars. Is it needed? Absolutely. Can we afford it right now in this town? No. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Well, we turn to weather now. Still cool, but we are melting off some of that snow. More spring-like temperatures are ahead, giving a great opportunity to get outdoors. Here's Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington in your first warm forecast, Alex. Yeah, Eric, get outside on your Saturday because that's going to be the nicer of the two days here in the forecast. Not too bad out there right now. We've actually inched our way up to 49 degrees here in Madison. A little warmer than forecasted, but I doubt many complaints. 51 in Lone Rock, 51 in the Dells, 52 in Janesville, and 54. That's the warm spot right now in the Wisconsin River Valley. Again, just increased our temperature to 49 in Madison. What a nice way to end the week here after a pretty winter like week the winter effects are slowly continuing to fade away we got a lot of 50s out there too in dane county one more chilly night tonight we'll dip down into the middle to upper 20s that's thanks to clear skies and a little bit of that snow still left out there on the ground but eric says that milder weather is on the way with that milder weather is going to also come rain chances we got a really good rain chance on sunday coming up in maine weather i'm going to show just how much water you can expect from that weather system and this might be on your mind too as we carry on out into monday we've got the solar eclipse. Unfortunately, much of the United States, we see all of that red. Folks, that is poor visibility conditions here in southern Wisconsin. We're going to be in the crossroads between poor visibility and good visibility. We'll break that down with the cloud forecast with Future Track. All right, Alex, thank you. A homicide investigation underway in Beloit after reports of a shooting overnight happened on Nelson Avenue on the same block as the Beloit grocery store. Just after 1.30 this morning, police responded to a call of a gunshot victim, and that person was found dead. No arrests have been made, no motive determined. Anyone with information about that shooting is urged to contact Crime Stoppers, the number 608 362-7463. The search for two people wanted in connection with an attempted homicide in Madison is now over. Madison police say Kevin and Nicole Brown were arrested in Chicago yesterday. Kevin facing charges of attempted homicide and possession of a firearm as a felon. Nicole charged with aiding a felon. The charges stem from a March 24th shooting in downtown Madison. Police say a man was shot in what was considered to be a targeted act of violence. The victim was treated for his injuries at a local hospital. And the Dane County Sheriff's Office has arrested a man who they say 
say fired a shotgun at a woman in the town of Dunn. According to the sheriff's office, deputies responded to two calls earlier this week at a 65-year-old man's home along White Oak Trail. Last night, deputies received another report that the man was allegedly threatening a woman with a gun. Officials say as the woman ran for safety, the man fired a shotgun at her. The woman was not injured. After obtaining a search warrant, the sheriff's office returned to the home and arrested the man. He faces multiple charges, including second-degree recklessly endangering safety. Now turning to Janesville, a man wanted on a number of charges has been taken into custody there. Dylan Demro was arrested at about 3 a.m. this morning at a home in Janesville. Police say Demro was involved in two separate incidents that are being investigated by both the Rock County Sheriff's Office and Janesville PD. He's being held at the Rock County Jail on charges including disorderly conduct, domestic abuse, and felony bail jumping. A hearing is scheduled for him for next week. Well, the election season picking up. President Biden, of course, will be in Madison Monday. One of the many big names we will expect to see visit the Badger State ahead of November, and that includes the Republican National Convention, which will be in Milwaukee this summer. Political reporter Will Keneally sat down with the host city's mayor about how he's preparing. Will? Well, Eric, it's a little bit of a weird scenario for the mayor of a liberal city to play host to the convention that will formally nominate Trump for this fall's election. But Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson says he's excited by the economic boost that the convention could have for his city and his state. As a reform, I don't agree with the politics. I certainly don't agree with their leading candidate uh, for president. But you can't dispute uh, the fact that uh, a $200 million estimated uh, economic impact is good for Milwaukee, is good for southeastern Wisconsin, it's good for other parts uh, of the state. Now, Johnson says that an event like this could pave the way for future events to come to Wisconsin that could also have a boon for us here in Madison. Now, we'll hear more from the mayor coming up tonight at 6. All right, Will, thank you. Now, as for the president's visit here on Monday, the Associated Press reporting he'll be announcing his latest efforts to broaden student loan relief for borrowers. Sources say that these proposals would help people who experience hardship in their daily lives that prevent them from being able to pay back their loans. It would also offer cancellation to borrowers considered highly likely to be in default within two years. They would go into effect as early as this fall. This marks President Biden's second visit to Wisconsin this year. But before the president's trip here today, he met with family of workers of the six construction workers who were killed when a cargo ship hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore last week. The Biden administration today sending a letter to Congress formally requesting lawmakers authorize 100 percent of the cost to rebuild the bridge. The federal government did the same during previous incidents. You may recall that I-35 bridge collapse in Minneapolis back in 2007. They did the same. The conservative House Freedom Caucus released a statement saying it will agree to the spending, but with conditions, it wants the money offset with cuts to other areas of the budget. We're going to get this paid for, aren't we? Yes. 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 All right. From the air, I saw the bridge that's been ripped apart. But here on the ground, I see a community that's been pulled together. Now, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the Democrat-led Senate will move quickly to vote on a funding request to rebuild that bridge. The Baltimore Orioles, Baltimore Ravens, the city's major sports teams have announced they are donating $5 million to the emergency fund for the bridge to provide support for anyone impacted by the bridge collapse. An earthquake shook New York City today. The 4.8 quake hit central New Jersey, sending tremors throughout much of the Northeast that millions of people felt. Michael George is in Times Square with reaction. A camera on the top of the Statue of Liberty shows the effects of the 4.8 magnitude earthquake that struck the Northeast. These dogs jumped to attention as the shaking rocked homes. And a meeting at the United Nations was briefly interrupted. You're making the ground shake. <laughs> Initially, many thought the shaking was caused by something else. I don't know if this is an earthquake, so I feel like I'm going to sit down. I don't think it is, but... I think it's just the construction, but it's very weird and scared me. It was a relatively strong earthquake for the Northeast, though it caused minimal damage. Safety crews here in New York City are checking buildings and bridges to make sure they didn't suffer any structural damage. The earthquake that just hit New Jersey is one of the largest that's ever hit the New York City area. Dr. Judith Hubbard is a geologist that specializes in earthquakes. She says the ground in this area causes more widespread shaking compared to a similar quake on the West Coast. The location where the earthquake happened is on a fault that we know about. It's a really super old fault that probably formed about 200 million years ago when North America first split off of Africa. State and local officials are warning residents to be on alert for aftershocks. 
but we're ready for the unexpected. This is New York City, and we respond accordingly. Experts say there's a small chance of an even larger earthquake in the months ahead. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Now, the strongest quake to hit the East Coast in decades was back in 2011. That was a 5.8 magnitude earthquake that struck Virginia. You might remember it cracked the Washington Monument. Well, just ahead, the snow starting to melt off. Alex has his complete forecast after the break. And years after winning her own cancer battle, a former Dane County deputy keeps giving back to patients who are now going through what she did. That's next at 5. And the market's regaining some of the losses from yesterday. The Dow closing the week up 307 points. And as that gains just shy of 200, the S&P adds 57 and we'll be right back. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. When you're ready to get out and prep your yard for spring, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $15 gift card with a $100 purchase of Scott's products. Save $400 on this 42-inch Husqvarna Hydro Lawn Tractor. Plus, tackle any project with these men's Carhartt Steel Toe Boots, $74.99. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Get solar and get saving with Olsen Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olsen Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. Coming up at 6, an exclusive sit-down with Milwaukee's mayor discussing President Joe Biden's upcoming visit and the impact of the Republican National Convention on the city. Plus, Will Keneally has key takeaways from Tuesday's election results. That's tonight at 6. We warn you first. When winter made an April comeback, the first warn weather team kept you on top of the developing winter storm conditions. First with the information you need to be prepared. And stay safe. First warn weather. Watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Going through cancer treatments can be overwhelming, and the people who have undergone them know it better than anyone. This is Joan Camholz. She is one of those survivors. The former Dane County deputy won her battle against breast cancer nearly 17 years ago and uses her experience to give back to the community. She started a nonprofit called Justice for a Cure, which she recently used to send care packages to patients at SSM Health in Monroe. I think a big part of being in law enforcement is you want to help others, you know, and I think as we tire, retire from law enforcement, it's still embedded in me, I want to help others, and it's so important that we do that. And like I say, in a rural community that those people are not maybe, you know, used to those resources and have that available to them, so it's, it's dear to heart. And if you want to learn more about Justice for a Cure, you can find it online at justiceforacure.org. Well, there are so many incredible things made in Wisconsin. A lot of them we know well, beer, cheese, cranberries, for example. But our state is also home to likely the world's top producer of something that makes its customers 
walk a little higher. Mike Kirkhoff has the details. This is laser cut acrylic, and we use that just because it's easy to reuse. You are witnessing the first blue mold of a new sculpture I made. Slowly push it in until resin starts seeping out. This creates a traction pad so that it's easier to walk in. And that, in a nutshell, is how you make these. I own Chaos Costumes, and we specialize in costume accessories. I am known most for making the hoof shoes. Hoof shoes. <laughs> Blair Andrela Ahrens put a little bit more pressure on it. Makes them with her team in a warehouse in Racine. Because you don't want any bubbles in the hoof. And it's ships them bubbles. all over the world. From the Japan to France to Italy. They're basically high heels, but with no heel, a different toe, and some fur. If you can walk in stilettos, you can walk in my shoes. She's just come out with a flat version, too. buys these and why primarily um, people who like to dress up as fawns mentors centaurs it's just for people that like high fantasy like dressing up to wear it to renaissance fairs they wear it to conventions and stuff like that how could there be that many people that need hoof shoes and chaos costumes they go on like that other big seller <laughs> dragon horns it's wild to me how things have grown and how how they've expanded where like Sky's the limit where like we'll just we'll just keep cranking on product and seeing where this this cap is and I, I can't find it yet. Angela Aaron started as a costume lover and wearer herself. If you have anything that isn't mixed, it will not cure. Someone asked her to make shoes for them. Typically by mom's last and then another maybe like 60 60 to 70 castings. And it was posted on social media, and everyone in the community yeah. wanted a pair. There's a couple people that are doing it, but not quite at the scale that I'm doing it. Chaos Costumes grew from a guest room side hustle. I am the most well known in the world. <laughs> to a thousand square feet of warehouse space and four other employees. It's kind of wonderful to be able to do this for a living. It's wild to me that this is my life and this is my future. I have the freedom to create, and people want to buy my creations. What? <laughs> Hoof shoes are an oddity, a niche product. Dragon horns and fairy wings, too, for that matter. But like many of the legends and fables they come from, there is a lesson for us all. If you want to be an entrepreneur, do it. Like, if you want to create something and sell it, do it. It takes time. It takes a lot of failure. You cannot be afraid of failing because that fear will stop you. Well, let's get a look at your first word yeah. forecast now. <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. There's really no smooth way out of that, Alex. I, I could make a connection. Maybe I need their help to jazz up my surgical boot. Yeah, here. for your boot to get us high above the water that's starting to pool that's from right. all this melting snow out there. Right, and we have some area rivers and streams that are getting up there, too, with all the melting. And more rain is in the forecast here. First, Saturday. Get outside in your Saturday. It'll be a mild one and sunny then. Rainy conditions are expected on your Sunday. will add to the water. Lots of clouds on Monday. A lot of folks are reaching out asking for that eclipse forecast. I got that promise here for you. Right now, 49 in Madison. We've just went up a degree since our 4 o'clock show here. Winds out of the northeast at about 10, so not as gusty. So we're making progress incrementally, as I've been saying the past couple of days. 49 in Madison, 51 in Middleton. That's the warm spot. 51 to the southeast, too, in Edgerton. But we got a 54 in Boscobel, 52 in Janesville. Just got off the phone on a live radio hit down there. They're enjoying those temperatures in the 50s. It feels a lot better out there because we've got the sun and the winds have died down quite a bit. Temperatures tonight, though, they'll get a bit on the chilly side with clear skies. That always spells a cooler night. We'll do 26 in Madison, 30 in Boscobel, and 30 in Janesville. But with that warming April sun, we'll do low to mid 50s for high temperatures on your Saturday. Nice day again to get outside. Then we trade the sun with the rainy conditions on your Sunday. Good chances of rain. Widespread scattered showers are expected Sunday going into Sunday night. Could it be even lasting into that important eclipse day Monday with on and off rain chances next week. But again, it's April, so we expect shower condition. Here's a snapshot looking at 4 4 30 widespread showers from Prairie to Sheen to the Dells to Madison down to Janesville. Just about everybody is going to be getting wet on your Sunday with strong east winds. It will be a chilly day as well. Widespread quarter to half inch amounts with this weather system, maybe approaching three quarters of an inch out to the west towards the Mississippi River. But then that eclipse forecast where you see the red 
that's much of the nation actually, that's poor visibility expectations. And that includes areas of Wisconsin. We'll zoom on in here. Here, look at Madison, We're right in the crossroads between good and not such good visibility. Better chances of breaking into some sun to the southeast towards Janesville, better chances of those clouds to the northwest up towards Camp Douglas. And we see that with their future track model. Look at down towards Janesville, right on the edge of the cloud line. Clouds in Madison, maybe a shower as that eclipse start. We start to see the impacts right around 1 o'clock. Peaking at 2 o'clock, maybe some thinning of the clouds, but the Future track models actually clearing the clouds out later on your Monday afternoon and evening. So stay tuned this weekend. I'll be doing the shows this week and we'll be keeping you up to date on that cloud forecast and its impacts on the eclipse. Chilly tonight in our bottom line, sunny Saturday, rainy Sunday, and more clouds than sun right now expected on that important eclipse Monday. Plenty of clouds in the future, but also plenty of mild temperatures on and off rain shower activity. This is what we would expect though in April temperatures, middle to upper 50s to lower 60s with those April showers because they bring the May flowers. All right, let's take a look at traffic here. Going pretty good. East and westbound at a decent clip, 60 miles per hour. That's where we should be going with that speed limit. Down in Janesville, speed limit's around 70, and they're going at 70. And our friends up towards the Dells also going at 70 miles per hour. Eric, great night for travel. No problems. All right, Alex, and it's a big weekend of basketball. Tips off in about an hour or so. The women's final four. It starts tonight. A look at the four teams who will be doing battle when we come back. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Madison's older generations open up. Settle in with Madison Magazine for Vaughn Frank and funny reflections from local seniors. Then meet a new generation taking action against climate change. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Madison Magazine presents The City Guide, your ultimate resource for Madison area adventures. With inside tips on where to eat, what to do, and places to see. Available now on area newsstands or online at madisonmagazine.com. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Thin Comfort Footwear is handmade from the finest of natural products. Leather lined and expertly crafted. Made with great care to ensure a first class product that Thin Comfort is known for. Thin Comfort meticulously handcrafted in Germany and loaded with arch support. You can be assured that Morgan Shoes will properly fit you in your new Thin Comfort shoes. Comfort with style. Trust your feet to Morgan Shoes. Morgan Shoes, Hildale. So how green is your thumb? Here at the Bruce Company, it doesn't matter if you're a seasoned gardener or a newbie. When you come to the Bruce Company, you'll get expert advice from their knowledgeable team. You'll find beautiful plants, pots, and garden art, plus creative ideas and solutions. The Bruce Company has all the tools you'll need to bring your dream garden to life. So dream big and get growing with help from the Bruce Company. The Bruce Company, your outdoor living experts. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Get an 11% rebate on Minwax products from Menards. Protect your projects with a top coat finish. Fast drying polyurethane provides long lasting protection for all types of wood surfaces. A cord is on sale for $14.48 plus 11% rebate. Minwax Polycrylic is a fast drying, water based protective wood finish that adds beauty to woodwork, furniture, doors, and 
cabinets. A quart is on sale for $20.78, plus 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. You're watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. And welcome back. If you're looking to watch some Friday night hoops tonight, you are in luck. The Bucks will be on our airwaves once again tonight, hosting the Toronto Raptors over on Television Wisconsin, 3.2 over the air. This will be the final time these two teams play this season. The currently nodded uh, one apiece in the series. The Bucks won the last matchup back in November. Tip-off is at 7. And also tonight, of course, the NCAA Women's Final Four tips off in Cleveland. South Carolina just two way wins away from an undefeated perfect season against NC State in Game 1, then followed by a battle of the superstars. I was Caitlin Clark and UConn's Paige Beckers. So I think you're going to see also a beautiful style of basketball. Teams that cut, teams that pass, a game that's probably really high scoring too. And South Carolina on the brink of history. But NC State, they can score. They're fun. They're athletic. It's going to be a really, really tight game, I think. And during their 36-0 season, the Gamecocks have a margin of victory that is nearly 30 points a game. At the White House, it was a day for a winning team to score possibly the most meaningful victory of all. Willie James Inman was there and shows us how. Hello, Tigers! It's a moment these basketball players have been waiting more than 60 years to experience. An invite to the White House as national champions. This is the greatest day of my life. CBS News was given exclusive access to their meeting with Vice President Kamala Harris. I'm so honored that you are here. The players now well into their 80s relish the moment. From 1957 to 1959, the Tennessee A&I Tigers men's basketball team was the first to win three back-to-back -back national titles. But their success during the era of segregation was denied the applause it deserved. Vice President Harris thanked them for their fight both on and off the court. These gentlemen and their teammates who we have named are a perfect example of the excellence that comes from our HBCUs. The team was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 2019 after a relentless campaign by NBA star Dick Barnett. A recent documentary drew attention to the story. My name is Dick Barnett. And I used to have a hell of a jump shot. It's very gratifying that uh, people appreciate what, what you have accomplished. A long-awaited opportunity for these champions to claim their place in the history books. Willie James Inman, CBS News, the White House. And we'll be right back with a final check of your first worn forecast. Experts. The Home Renewal Experts at Belco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Belco. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth. But you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth with the power swabs. I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. Plus get free shipping. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. 
And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. It's out with the old and in with the new during Steinhoffel's new for spring sale. This is the perfect time to update your bedroom, add more seating to your dining room, make your living room feel new again, and get a great night's sleep on a new mattress. Steinhoffel's has something for every style and budget. And with our 60-month financing, your new room just got more affordable. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffel's.com. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. On this Friday night, for our Heart of America, the incredible all-female flyover by Air Force pilots who are marking a step forward for women's sports. Those headlines and much more tonight on the CBS Evening News. Well, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's an insanely expensive comic book, but this isn't your average comic. Action Comics, number one, this is the issue that introduced Superman back in 1938, and yesterday it sold at auction for $6 million. That sale broke its own world record. A copy of the same comic sold privately in 2022 for $5.3 million. The previous auction record was Amazing Fantasy number 15, which featured the debut of Spider-Man. That sold for $3.6 million back in 2021. <laughs> Unbelievable what people will pay. Alex is back as we look ahead to the weekend and uh, some warming up. Warming up on your Saturday. I don't think it's a $6 million forecast. No. Well, maybe a million. Compared to Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, think. compared to Tuesday. Big, big benefits on your Saturday. Starting off a bit on the chilly side, but we will warm up on your Saturday. We'll be up into the lower 50s, trading that in for a rainy Sunday. More clouds than sun on your Monday, Eric. We're keeping an eye on that eclipse forecast as we carry on into Monday, looking cl pretty cloudy at this point. All right, we're back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6. The CBS Evening News is next.